Okay, two point charges Q1 and Q2 are in position. Uh, all these are Cartesian coordinate. Yeah, position of P is this one. Find the electric force experienced by test charge for microcoulomb placed at point P. Uh, good. So for this case, I need to draw out the Cartesian coordinate. Yeah, draw out the Cartesian coordinate. So let's draw out. Uh, let's draw out. Okay, how should I draw out? Um, no, I don't think this is helpful. Uh, okay, let me draw out first. Uh, okay, this is the x x axis, and this is the y axis. Okay, x and y axis. All right. Okay. So now, uh, look at here. So how to do this? So we have the x, uh, x axis and y axis. Uh, this is a zero. I need to plot plot it out. So this one is uh, q one. Where is q one? Uh, zero negative three. So where is zero negative three? Zero negative three. Negative is around here. Zero negative three. So uh, one two three over here. Uh, over here, uh, this is 0, 0, negative 3. Understand? This is a Q1. Uh, Q1 is a positive charge, positive 2 microcoulomb. So I can say, or oh, maybe, okay, just draw a positive charge there. A positive charge over here, yeah? Positive charge. This is Q1, uh, uh, positive, what? Positive uh, 2. Positive two micro column. Uh, okay, uh, and then uh, what else? Uh, Q two is negative charge. It is at four four zero. Uh, coordinate four zero. So one two three four. So over here is a negative charge. Yeah, negative charge. So draw it over here. So negative charge is over here. Uh, it's a negative charge. Okay, it is at um, you know it is at a uh, four zero. Uh, four zero. Uh, that's correct. Okay, so four zero. So this is a Q two, which is a ne negative charge, negative three microcoulomb. Okay, so I can say that uh, the distance to the center here is four four centimeter, four centimeter, and then this. To here is a uh, three centimeter. Ah, like that. Uh, three centimeter, uh, four centimeter. All right. So, what is the electric force? What is the electric force experienced by a, you know, uh, point P? Where is point P? P is a uh, zero three zero three zero three. So one two three. So over here. Uh, Z, uh, no zero, one, two, three over here. Ah, so this point P over here. So he say that uh, there is a test charge. Oh, it's a positive charge. Huh? This test charge is also a positive charge. Uh, the the Q. Huh? this is Q. So I put where I where should I put? Uh, I just I just put uh, point P over here. Lah, the Q is over here. Yeah. It's a positive charge. It's a positive positive charge. Uh, this is the Q, which is a four microcoulomb. Okay, uh, four. Uh, yeah. So it's three centimeter. Uh, three centimeter away. Uh, from the point O. Okay, three centimeter. Isn't it? Ah. So I want to find my electric force experienced by. Experienced by who? Who is my target? Who is my target? Uh, my target is the this one. Uh, this is my target. Understand? Uh, my test charge is my target. So I want to find the force. Yeah? Draw. Draw draw the force on draw force on uh, the test charge. Uh, draw the force on the test charge uh, for microcoulomb. So draw the force on this uh, for microcoulomb only. Don't draw the force on other charge. Understand? 
Ah, uh, okay. So now let's draw the force. Uh, let's draw the force. We know that uh, for force, uh, the you know, uh, uh, same sign repel, same sign repel, positive positive, negative negative repel, but positive negative opposite opposite sign attract, attract force. Okay. So you see. Uh, I need to see my target is my target is the test charge on point P. Understand? This test charge. Uh, Q1 is Q2 is just the point charge. Yeah. So we need to see the relationship between this target with the, the other point charge. Understand? Uh, so we need to see between this uh, target with Q2. Uh, with target with Q2, uh, how to say yeah? Uh, Maybe you can just write F2 lah, okay? Uh, positive and negative attract, isn't it? Positive and negative, uh, the opposite sign, they attract. Okay, so they attract. Uh, so this is F. Just put F2 lah, okay? Uh, this is F2. Uh, F2. And then uh, this F2. And how about, uh, you know, because positive and negative attract, uh, F2. And then how about Q1? Q1 positive, uh, Q1 is a positive, and then this uh, Q is also a positive, positive, positive charge, repel, uh, positive, positive charge, repel, so repel, uh, this is F1, understand, uh, this is F1, repel, uh, that's, that's it, uh, and then uh, how, how far is the, from uh, this point P to charge Q, Q2, from point P to Q2 is actually, is actually, uh, you know, is actually uh, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5. Uh, it's 5 cm, Pythagoras theorem. Uh, it's actually 5 cm. So, so you can find for F1 and F2. Uh, you can find the value of uh, F1 and F2. Uh, yeah, uh, let's find the value of F1 over here. You know, F1 over here and F2. Over there, okay. So F one, okay. Just use a uh, KQ. Uh, you know, F one is uh F okay. F one is between Q and Q one, isn't it? So you put as a uh, KQ Q one over R one square. Uh, for F two, F two is a uh, K between Q and Q two. Uh, Q and and Q and Q2, uh, Q and Q2, uh, and then uh, the distance is uh, R, just put R2 lah. Uh, so, so uh, then you you uh, remember, uh, okay? Uh, for vector, for vector, the 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 sign, uh, for vector force, the the ignore the sign on charge. Understand? Ignore the sign on charge because we know that Q2 is a negative charge negative charge but uh, for when we substitute into the we want to find the magnitude you know magnitude of them uh, the, this is a vector quantity uh, to find the magnitude the modulus uh, the q2 we ignore yeah uh, q2 we ignore the negative sign yeah we don't put the negative sign yeah to find the magnitude okay so let's uh, uh, substitute the value. K is uh, 9 exponent 9. Exponent 9. Q, Q is uh, 4 micro. 4 micro. So it's a uh, negative 6. Uh, and then Q1 is 2 micro. So 2 micro. And then R1. How far is uh, R1? How far is... Uh, uh, R1 means... Uh, R1 means from uh, P to... P to Q1. P to Q1 is 3 plus 3. So it's 6 cm. 6 cm is how many meter? 6 cm is 0 0.06 meter square. Okay? And then for for what? For F2, uh, also the same. Uh, okay. So Q, Q is a 4 micro. 4 micro. And then uh, Q2 is negative 3 don't put the negative sign for vector uh, force you ignore the charge you ignore the negative sign so it's uh, just 3 micro 3 micro uh, 3 micro okay 
uh, 3 micro uh, just put positive sign yeah ignore the negative sign okay so uh, and then r uh, the and then the distance is p to q2 is 5 cm 5 cm is uh, 0 0.05 meter ah okay so you calculate uh, you calculate both of this value uh, both of this value and then uh, you you what you do is you resolve into xy component just like we have done uh, previously uh, how to do xy component i already show you in the last previous example i don't think i want to show you again okay you put all your information into here x y uh, f1 uh, f2 and then you know the total f find the total f and then finally you do the pythagoras theorem find the resultant f uh, you know the uh, here you will get a total fx uh, total fy uh, remember i think if you look at here uh, f1 is only uh, in the y component only in the y component so the x component should be zero okay x component should be zero and then f2 f2 is uh, uh going to the right and going downward huh? uh you know okay f1 f1 is going upward so it should be positive value it should be positive y here so you should calculate yourself yeah i calculate yourself and then f2 here is uh, going this way so it's going to the right and going downward going to the right going to the right is positive and then going downward going downward should be negative uh, this one should be a negative value understand should be a negative value uh, so you should put the direction uh, positive negative sign is for positive negative sign is for direction uh, direction yeah direction and then uh, you find the total fx total fy uh, total fx total fy uh, you square do the Pythagoras theorem uh, then you can find the magnitude of force and also that when you want to find the direction you use the tangent theta uh, total fy over total fx uh, find the theta with respect to uh, is it uh, is it above or below the positive uh, x axis uh, look at check the answer yourself okay so that's the that's how you do it uh, yeah that's how you find this this uh, resultant value uh, oh finally I found is below positive x axis yeah uh, okay so uh, this is the way to do these questions. Yeah, you must draw out the Cartesian first. Huh? The answer is C. Okay. Good luck for you. Bye.